welcome back to my channel, I'm Christine Grace and today I'm going to be doing another reaction to another matriarchy female supremacy video that I came across when conducting my research for an episode of Debunking the Lunacy, which will be out soon so be sure to check that out. I'm not going to say anything, let's just get straight into it. Now we must admit the truth, men have failed us all. Patriarchy has been the main world's order for at least 3000 years. And living in the modern world doesn't necessarily mean that things have changed. In the light of the recent events, we have to claim the end of man's power. You are no longer accepted. You cannot make important decisions anymore. And you have failed not just women. You have failed humanity. We women no longer accept your ways of building and making... Who hurt this poor lady? Come on, one of you, put your hands up. Who did it? Who did it? You saw that little micro expression in her face. Who hurt her? Someone hurt her. She's hurt. Maintaining the reality. War, violence, child deaths, rape are the... <laughs> I spoke about this in an episode, but violence is not a male issue. Men and women tend to exert aggression differently, but each human being is capable of violence. It's got nothing to do with gender. It's a human issue. It's not a gendered issue. And as for killing children, well, pretty sure more women kill their children than men. So get your facts right first, lady, before you come online and tell the whole world how awful men are. A whole gender. I'm sure this lady would be very unhappy if a man came on YouTube and spoke about how all women are terrible. Pathiosis of toxic masculinity. Men and their ways to handle the biggest problems in life, the biggest problems in the world, cannot be chosen anymore, cannot be trusted anymore. When I say that equality is not a solution, that I'm more into matriarchy, people look at me as if I'm some kind of a monster. Yes, especially that's funny when men look at me that way. <laughs> yes, sure. I'm the monster. But just let's look a bit closer. Not at me, but at the reasons why I do not support equality. So first of all, I've never seen equality. You know where I'm from? I'm from Russia. That's like the antonym of equality. So 99% of all my life problems and believe me. I wonder if she still lives in Russia. So that'd be pretty embarrassing to sit there and say, well, <laughs> you know, my country is so bad. But if you still live there, shut up. <laughs> if you don't like it, get out. I've had so much more than your little privileged white bud can ever imagine. So. She's white. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. They all caused by patriarchy, by lack of equality, by... <laughs> this is mental illness. Please tell me you guys see that too. This is mental illness. She's literally saying all of her life's problems are down to patriarchy. By lack of any basic women's rights. So after being traumatized by patriarchy, I meet European guys. Hey, перестань, пожалуйста. <laughs> Even her dog is like, bitch, please be quiet. <laughs> Even her dog doesn't like her. So after being traumatized by... Someone work out if that dog is a female or a male dog. Because if he's a male dog, well, wouldn't really be reflecting everything you believe in, would it? Surely the male dogs should be left out on the street and only the female dogs get to come in the home, right? Going off of your own logic. Patriarchy, I meet European guys who behave as if equality already happened. And they do not owe us anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me abuse you for 3,000 years. Let me kill your brothers. Let me rape your father. So, and then the next day I would be like, I'm not torturing you anymore. That, what, that was yesterday. Why don't you concentrate on your own success? The Oedipus complex, penis envy. That's what I'm sensing here. That's, that's what I'm really getting. I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of pent up tension and anger i mean she's clearly hurt 
we can all agree, clearly a very hurt lady. And yeah, there's a lot of pent up anger here, a lot of pent up emotion that needs to come out. And she's found that outlet in abusing, attacking men. Crazy, absolutely crazy. No one is doing you harm. So please stop hating us, stop hating women. What, your wounds still hurt? Are you scared of women? Do you hate women? How dare you? That's sexism. Oh yes, I love this word, especially when men use it. You really think that men want equality just because hmm, they care for you? I can guarantee you this woman has never had a positive male figure in her life ever. They care for women's safety. <laughs> women, please stop accepting some basic things, some basic respect as something extraordinary. Yeah, that men do not behave like animals at the workplace or a man who, I don't know, who stops his friend from joking about rape. That's not something, wow. He's a hero. That's basic. That's just a standard. Okay, first off, jokes are jokes. <laughs> They're jokes. If you get offended by it, that's on you, not the person making the joke. A joke is a joke. It's comedy. Get over it. You know, this this woman seems to think she's some kind of dictator that can control what what other people do. I just think she's never had a positive male influence in her life, so she's become tainted with this idea that all men are completely evil. And it clearly runs very deep in her. There's a lot of emotion in this video, a lot of pent up emotion. It's very, you know, it's, it's right there. It's, it's ready to burst out. Um, which if she was a man and could actually do any amount of significant damage to someone would be very dangerous. That's the minimum standard of being just a human being around other human beings. That's nothing. So no, men don't want to... I love how she's given herself the authority to tell us what men want. ...quality for you. They want it for themselves. Because finally it's time when they can be like, oh, finally we don't have to try our best for women and we still can have sex because women, you still want sex, right? We can get sex. So please give us sex. And we are not going to try to win you. We're not going to try to be gentlemen anymore. We don't have to pay for you. Yeah, because equality already happened. So, so, excuse me, what did you say? Violence has a gender? <gasps> That's sexism. How dare you? Yeah, this is what I heard from 20-year-old Europeans. When I complained about my problems they never had in their entire life, such as sexual harassment, they said it when I was like three, or that fathers do not pay. She's taking her personal circumstances and applying it to the whole world. That's the issue here. For the children, the still women are getting killed and raped every day in the world by men, yes. Because when you make an example, yes, but men also get killed by men, by men. Women do not kill men. <laughs> Women do not kill men. There you have it, guys. Women don't kill men. This lady said so, so it must be true. And if you check the statistics why women kill men, always self-defense. Like from 80 to 90% self-defense. Women are still not allowed to talk about rape. We're still not allowed to wish death to those who raped us. Hmm, interesting. So you probably know that Facebook recently allowed Ukrainians to wish death. Or is it a possibility? I'm theorizing here. I could be completely wrong. This is just speculation. I'm not claiming anything I'm about to say is fact. However, women tend to be more neurotic than men. Women tend to be more prone to mental illness due to our higher neuroticism, higher levels of neuroticism. Uh, we're more easily swayed one way or the other because we, we're more agreeable. So is it that women can go down a bit of a neurotic mental health path and then commit atrocious crimes? And then when it comes to the court systems, obviously, because they're in favor of women, women are more likely to use the defense of 
manslaughter, loss of control, mental illness, etc., etc., etc. Just a thought, just a speculation. I could be completely wrong. I'm very much aware that I'm I'm speculating, but just just an idea. To Russian people or Russian army, yeah. But how about women who are raped? Do you think that they they just they want their rapists to be fine? Why aren't we allowed to speak? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, maybe because it's hate speech. Maybe because whenever a woman says, or whenever a woman shares her experience, you call it hate speech. You bash them. Again, this is not a gendered issue. If you wish for anyone to be dead publicly, if you're inciting violence, of course, it's going to be hate speech. It's not a gendered issue. It's a human issue. Hate speech is hate speech. You silence them. Oh, yes, that's the world of equality. Again, it seems she's taking her personal circumstances and making a broad assumption. I do, from what I can gather, you know, we're six minutes in. She's very clearly been hurt, and I don't wish that on anyone. However, her outlet is extremely unhealthy. It's actually getting kind of sad to watch at this point because she's so trapped in her own ideas. Hey, look, I don't, I don't know. I, I've never actually spoke to her and sat down with her. I don't know how open-minded she is, but just the impression I'm getting off of this video is that she wouldn't listen to any other possibilities other than, oh, well, it must be the patriarchy and men are the source of all the world's problems, which is a, must be a really sad place to be if you've got such a pessimistic view of the world like that. It must be a bad place to be. No sexism at all. We are all equal. So, yeah, you behave as if nothing happened. Hmm... Sounds like gaslighting. You know, there is an expression that men should feel lucky because women want equality and not revenge. <laughs> not all women. I just believe that we should require a little bit more than just basic respect after thousands of years of femicide. Men do owe us. Yeah, you do. I don't believe in any of this idea that essentially my dad always taught me two wrongs don't make a right and I, I have to agree with that even mathematically you know minus and a minus <laughs> we go back to primary school minus minus doesn't equal positive two two wrongs don't make a right and yeah this whole idea of revenge it's really it's really cynical it just seems a plagued poisoned mindset. I don't think it will do anyone ever any good going down the path of revenge. A lot of people disagree with me on this but this is just how I personally feel. Um, even people in my personal life, a lot of people do agree in the concept of revenge and I guess maybe I've just been blessed enough that I've not had something happened to me that I've wanted to seek revenge. Perhaps immediately, yes, something has affected me where I've really wanted to seek revenge. Um, but after a while, I, I always like to bring myself back down to, to earth and say, I, I like to think that, that karma gets to us all in the end. But you know, I, again, I could, I could be completely wrong. It's because it raises gender differences, not even gender dif differences, but sex differences. And it's really good when it comes to workplaces, hobbies, clothes, makeup. You can do whatever you want. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, well, for example, workplaces. We all know this example of sexism when a woman comes to an interview and she gets all these questions like, how many kids do you have? When are you going to be pregnant? When are you going to give birth to your children? Who's going to take care of your kids? When men do not get these questions, right? So I would prefer these questions to stay, but I want them to have a completely different purpose. Do you have children? How many children do you have? Who is going to take care of them? Do you need help? We are going to provide help because we know that mostly women raise children and we are here to help you when you cannot take care of them. For example, if your child is sick, we can provide you with a babysitter, please. If you decide to have children, that's your responsibility. It's no one else's responsibility to look after your children or to offer help. Where has this idea come from that it's someone else's responsibility if you choose to have a child? No, 
<laughs> it's, it's entirely your responsibility. It's not your employer's responsibility. You figure out what you're going to do. And then you tell the employer how you're going to do that. It's Brina Chow here. And there is a safe space where your child can play with other children of other women in this work environment. Hmm. Is your period painful? You should take a day off. Do you get emotional during your period? You can take one hour break. Here is a pillow for you. You can cry whatever you want. You can get angry. You can punch the pillow. Oh, so you just want to have more rights and more privilege just because you have a vagina? Yes. If you have a sick day and you want to choose to take that sick day because you're having a painful period, do that. But if you don't want to use your sick day, don't expect to get paid when you're not working. You're paid to work. That's just a fact of being a woman. We have periods, sometimes they're painful and you get to choose if you want to take the day off and use it as, as sick pay and get paid for it. Or you don't. But either way, you're not working. You're not working. Yes, what's wrong with that? You also came to this world through a vagina because there is no other way. Wow, is it surprising for you that women shouldn't really cut their feminine side in order to adapt to this equal world of patriarchy? Don't do this. I don't want to be equal to men. Men are not an example of a perfect human, excuse me. You've done so much harm. So wanting to be equal to you means to step back on the evolutionary ladder. Why do why why am I supposed to want that? Your role was to protect and to provide. You chose to kill, to rape and to betray. There is no way I'm equal to that. And please don't tell us that not all men are. We are not dumb. You know how she said that gaslighting was a male thing? This is gaslighting. She's trying to She's trying to portray so much guilt in this. Feel guilty, feel guilty, feel guilty. I see that all the time nowadays. And yeah, I just, I don't agree with it at all. Each human being has their own individuality and their own sovereignty. And what you do in your individual life defines you. That's what I believe. So no, I don't think that men who haven't graped anyone, who haven't essayed anyone, who haven't abused anyone. No, I don't think that they should feel guilty for the men that do because they're doing their individual part to not contribute to that problem. So why should they feel guilty for that? Knows that not every man is a bad man. I mean, I, I, I cannot believe that I have to explain it like 1000 times to <laughs> all this man from equality countries. So the fact that I've met a lot of good men in my life it doesn't really change another fact that a woman surrounded by 10 men would never feel safe. While an average guy surrounded by 10 women in the same room with them would probably feel lucky. Why is that? I hear it all the time. You just hate men. I don't just hate men. There is no just hate. Probably you've done something to be hated by women, to be scare it off but no i still cannot say that i hate men i hate this social construct i hate toxic masculinity i hate a lot of men yeah but i cannot say that i hate old men like i don't hate good men why would i hate good men and i have good men in my life which is hard to admit because i hate men those men I talk to you and they don't have to be submissive. It doesn't matter, okay? I, I'm surrounded by different types of men. They all share one thing. Actions over words, care for a woman or any other women, not just me. And also similar thoughts. When you use the word hate that much, you clearly have a lot of hatred in your heart. It's never going to serve you well in the long run. It's going to cause you stress. Stress ultimately affects your body. It's, it's not good for you. It's not good for you to hold on to so much hatred, so much negative emotion. you got to let it go, girl. you got to let it go. You're going to kill yourself living like this. You're going to induce so much stress on your body. It's going to... You're going to have a heart attack or something. You're going to explode. <laughs> Just have a bath, light a candle, read a book. Call a friend. Play with your dog. You do have a cute dog. I 
I'll admit. Very cute dog. But yeah, this, this is a lot of hatred coming from one person. And, and thinking that it's a good man, if he doesn't realize the problems that women have been through because of men, if you tell them about this, they're like, but men also suffer. Yes, women use different ways. They, they can ruin your career. They just affect your reputation. Oh yes, really, honey? So would you choose to be raped or to have your career destroyed? I get what she's saying. Hatred on the other side, you know, is not great either. But of course men can acknowledge that there are bad men. But this woman is sat here acting like women are perfect. And that women have never done anything wrong in all of history. That's not true. So it, it has to work both ways. Mm. And how exactly do women ruin someone's career? By telling everyone that she was raped by this guy? <laughs> because if it can't be proven, it's just an allegation. And that ruins someone's reputation. I'm sorry, that's the law. If you can't prove it. Also, if you're not willing to take the steps to prove that it happened, but you're willing to go to work and scream about it, what do you expect? You either want something to happen or you don't. If you do, you take the steps to ensure that you provide the evidence. Or you don't and you live with that choice. But it is your choice. And the choice is there. It is available. But you, you need to follow the procedure of law. And in the UK court system, it's based upon a burden of proof, which means evidence. So provide your evidence. And it's, it's more damaging to the women who actually do suffer from these issues because when loads of women come forward and say, this has happened, this has happened, this has happened, but there's no evidence to prove it, of course, then you're going to create a stigma around women that women just lie. And then no one's going to believe the real women who do come forward. So I think we should all just stick to the law. If a criminal offence has happened to you, report it with evidence. All right, now let's talk more about female supremacy and matriarchy. Mm, when I would say this word, men just freak out. Oh, no, 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 no. I think that if one gender has more rights, oh wait, stop. Can you give me any example when in the history of the world, women had more rights? Oh, well, I've heard about this tribe. Tribe? You've heard about a tribe in one country, a tribe that consists of one and a half people? Nice. Whenever you tell me about some tribe, you only prove the whole misbalance that matriarchy has never existed. You know, even Wikipedia doubts that. Wikipedia, even Wikipedia, that can literally be edited by anyone anywhere. Even Wikipedia says it, guys. This is really, really serious. So why do men have such a strong fear when we talk about matriarchy? That's obvious, right? Isn't it? I mean, because they, they are scared that women would do the same stuff you've been doing to us for such a long time. You're just scared to experience the same pain, the same torture that we've had for a very long time. But let me share a secret with you. This what you imagine there, that's not matriarchy. These are your wet fantasies. I mean, some submissive man really imagine all this world when he's being beaten and abused every day. But that's not matriarchy. Oh, I mean, not really. And you know why? Because we are very different from you. Because women are very different from men. And matriarchy is not the mirror of patriarchy. We are not going to kill or rape or abuse you. Hasn't she literally said multiple times aimed at men? How would you feel if we did this to you? How would you feel? Do you really trust that if this woman had any kind of power? She, she's already mentioned she believes in revenge. <laughs> Do anything to your family. We just don't need that. We are not concentrated on violence. We don't need violence. We don't need war. You need that. What do women need? 
women need safety. Women need to know that they give birth to children who are going to survive in this world. So matriarchy is a system which is based on women's needs because women bring children to this world. Is it clear or is it really hard to understand? Because women bring life. Because we are responsible for so many things. And if you fail to do that, we're gonna do that. But we will do it in our wrong way, which is very different from yours. For example, pay attention how women build their own business. Do you think it's the same way as men do? No, it's based on human interactions. Yes, business is business. Business isn't gendered. I'm sorry, it's not. Emotions, yes, emotions. We should never cut emotions from what we do. We don't do it always in a logical way because our decisions are often based on intuition. And you know what an intuition is? Intuition also includes a lot of empathy. We don't need to fight. We don't need to kill to establish our power. We have different ways. We have peaceful ways. You know that there is no woman. That doesn't take away from the fact of the natural laws of nature. You look at animals, for example. They do need to fight. They do need to kill. To eat. It's survival. And men are the reason that we have survived up to the point where we are today. Not women. Look around the world. Sure, there's no matriarchies, but let's go, let's go way back, way back. What, what would happen if, if women come in and take over like she says that they would? Back in animalistic times, what you, you, you think the men are just going to sit down and go, okay, yeah, you, 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 guys, you guys take charge. Then when another tribe or whatever comes in where the men are obviously the fighters, What's going to happen then? It's all, it's all going to fall apart. It just, it isn't sustainable. I'm glad that she is admitting that women are much more illogical and emotional. She clearly understands sexual differences, which is, which is an indication that part of her brain is still functioning, which is lovely to hear. Because I do think it's a shame something wrong has happened to this lady somewhere, unfortunately. But yeah, it's just, it's not sustainable. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, unfortunately. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know this is going to hurt lots of feminists everywhere, but there is a reason that we don't see it. It doesn't work and definitely you don't see it in nature either. And I think that's a very clear indicator. We're no, we're no different. We, we're, we're beings of nature as well. I know that there is no woman participating in the negotiations between Russia and Ukraine. Do you really think that if women were the main ones to make decisions, they would be sending all the soldiers to die? I'm not saying that all women are angels. We also can be mad, we can be cruel, we can gossip, we can bash others. But it all happens when we are far from our true self. And this true self has been suppressed for a very long time. I want the world to be a safe space for our children. And I cannot predict the future. Maybe if we come to matriarchy, it will still fail. Maybe. But we have to try. We gotta try because it has to be changed. If we keep man in power, would be equal to suicide we're gonna leave it there try it then go get whatever qualifications necessary get yourself into government look i don't know much about how russia works i don't know if women are actually excluded from politics and government in russia but you know, she's already said that she hates her country so much anyway, so she should probably move somewhere where she can fight for this matriarchy world that she wants. So you want to try it, do it. But get this idea of special treatment out of your head. I, th I thought the whole point of feminism was equality, and she's, she's saying, oh, I don't want equality, I want female supremacy, which is literally in the title of this video. Yeah... 
we're going to leave it there. I'm surprised I managed to get through that. I'm going to go sit in a dark room and switch off from that. I really don't have much more to say other than wow. Just wow. Why don't you let me know what you think and what you have to say in the comments below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel as well. I have a series that I'm working on at the moment called Debunking the Lunacy. Topics in the name. We look at the issues that I have noticed in society and we just take a deep analysis into them. The whole aim is to try and show the side to things that isn't typically shown in the mainstream media. So if that sounds like something you would be into, go check it out on my channel and I shall see you over there.